Hello and welcome to today's videos on system recommend for Hyper-V on Windows Server 2016 technical preview 4. At this time of this video recording, Windows Server 2016 is still in a technical preview mode. So if Microsoft adds certain new features with uh, Windows Server 2016 RTM, then the system recorder may be different from this video demonstration. Hyper-V has a specific hardware requirement and some of the Hyper-V features have additional system requirements. But the general requirements are Regardless of the Hyper-V features you want to use, you will need at least 164-bit processor with second level address translation that is also known as a slate to install the Hyper-V virtualization components such as a Windows hypervisor, the processor must have slate. You also require a VM monitor mode extension and that must be enabled. However, it is not required to install Hyper-V management tools like Hyper Virtual Machine Connection or Hyper-V Manager and the Hyper-V CMD leads for the Windows PowerShell. You also require enough memory on your host computer, so plan for at least 4 GB of RAM. More memory is better, you will need enough memory for the host and all virtual machine that you want to run at the same time. Virtualization support must be turned on in the BIOS or UEFI and also hardware assisted virtualization is required. This is available in a processor that includes a virtualization options, specifically processors with Intel virtualization technology that is known as Intel VT or AMD virtualization, AMD V technology. We also require a hardware enforced data execution prevention. DAP must be available and uh, enable. Uh, specifically, you must have to enable the Intel XD or we can say execute disable bit or in an AMD processor, we have a AMD NX bit, no execute bit. How we can check for Hyper-V requirement on uh, our computer? So to do that, just uh, open PowerShell or command prompt and once you open command prompt, you have to type command system info, hit enter. And here is the Hyper-V requirement is display over here. If your system is a hardware compatible, you will see the Hyper-V related entries over there. If all these requirements have a value of yes, then your system is ready for Hyper-V installation. As you are currently seeing, we have all these options value set to yes. If some of these value have a value of no, such as a virtualization enable in a firmware and a data execution prevention available, then you may have to enable them in your system BIOS or UEFI. The second level address translation, this are hardware properties. So if these do not display a yes value, then you either have to upgrade your system processor if that is possible, or you can select a different system with a compatible processor architecture. And there are some different requirements for uh, specific features like discrete device assignment and shielded virtual machine that's new with Hyper-V 2016. And at this point, I'm not going to discuss all that uh, new features with available with Windows Server 2016 and their requirement. So that's it for this uh, video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to see how to install and configure Hyper-V rule on Windows Server 2016.